welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine. And if you're not new here, then you know that I just moved. <laughs> so we're starting to unpack the house. We're almost finished, um, but not quite. I haven't really unpacked my room yet. All we did was paint the wall. It's like a Slytherin green. <laughs> and I have some like, I have a, a blanket uh, ladder in here with some blankets and stuff. But I'm not really, I'm not fully finished. I can show you like the top of my shelf real quick. So um, I have some of my uh, horror collections with different masks and stuff, but I am not completely finished. But maybe one of these days, I'll give you guys a tour of my room. But for today, I wanted to show you guys a package that I received at my new house. Yay! <laughs> you never know when you, you're in a new community if they're going to deliver it to the right house or not. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, <laughs> this whole community is brand new. So it's it's been kind of a little, a little crazy with all that <laughs> as well. But I'm excited to show you guys my new uh box from the potter collector if you don't know who he is you can follow him on youtube the potter collector his name is peter kenneth and what's cool about this box that i just received called the keep collecting box is he curated all these items with the wizarding trunk um, if you haven't heard about the wizard wizarding trunk go check them out they have a bunch of fun cool items if you're into um hogwarts and the wizarding world and Harry Potter, um, then you'll really, really enjoy the wizarding trunk. So uh, how I heard about this is because I follow the Potter collector and I knew that he was making a magical uh, box full of items that, that's in regards to the different Hogwarts houses. So I was so excited to see what he came up with um, those of you who don't know, only my friends really know, when I took the uh, Wizarding World quiz, um, and I'll link that information down below, I found out that I was a Hufflepuff. So I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Even though my wall is slithering green, but I, you know, I like that color. So, <laughs> and I only thought that this would be fitting this dark green for all of my scary and creepy items that I have as well besides, you know, um, the wizarding world. <laughs> Just to add to my collection of, of, you know, cool things. So, and I haven't put any like pictures or anything up on my walls yet, but that's soon to come. So if there's any items in here that I can like frame or whatever, I'll definitely put be putting those up in my, up in my room as well. All right, so let's get to unboxing. What's cool about this box is it says Fragical Delivery. <laughs> so Peter Kenneth, the Potter Collector, came up with that word fragical, which means a fragile, magical item or items, because there's more than one items item in this box. So they're basically saying, you know, be careful with the box. It's fragile and they're magical items. So, you know, don't start puncturing holes in them, which there is a hole in it. <laughs> so just be careful. Uh, it also says magical post on the side. And then it says the wizarding trunk presents the, uh, the keep collecting box. So really cool. I love the little, you know, extra wording on the sides and everything. All right. So I'm going to get my knife out and open the box because I didn't even open it. All right, so I have my Dracula knife. <laughs> totally, totally not the theme of this box. If you are opening your box up with knives, please be careful. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give you guys the first look inside. All right. So here's what it looks like. All right, so we have those little cardboard worm things, squigglies, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> 
So the first item that I see right on top of my box is a letter. And it looks like, oh, and I also noticed this, there's like a little crest in the back of, of the letter as well. And you can see that it's kind of stained a little bit. So it appears a little old. That is so cute. And it looks like this is from Peter Kenneth, the Potter Collector on YouTube. And it says, I'll read the letter to you guys. It says, presenting your keep collecting box. The moment has finally arrived, but please remember to feed and water your owl before sending it on its journey. Speaking of journeys, the Wizarding Trunk and the Potter Collector began collaborating this box in February of 2020. Because we believe that character traits are of utmost importance, we sketched, planned, designed, selected colors, tested fabrics, and searched for the materials and makers to bring your character trait-filled box. It is wonderful to see ideas come to life. Character, character, character. What more can I say about character? It matters. When all else fades, only our character remains. Each practical, presentable, and perfectly polished item in this box represents a house and a trait for which that house is valued. Thank you to the Wizarding Trunk crew for their steadfast mission of quality, excellence, and integrity in every process and product. My grateful heart goes out to the creative and hilarious roundtable brainstorming crew of Tim, Andrew, Nicole, Michael, and Thomas. Kudos to Danny at Wizarding Workshop for his masterful skills and transforming concepts into graphic designs. And this astounding appreciation is for you. As Potter Collector community members, Wizarding Trunk subscribers, and fans of the Boy Wizard, you have modeled a contagious sense of patience, kindness, and an excitement as you waited for this box. Keep collecting, Peter Kenneth. Oh, very sweet. Very nice. So that's the little letter. And it looks like there's a card in here. Oh, there's like three things. So the first thing I noticed is a library card and it says students must be in possession of this card to borrow library books. And then on the back it says restricted section. Access to the restricted section requires photo identification and a professor note. It's validated by, and it has LP listed on the back. It looks like initials. And then attached photo here. As you can see, and then what's really nice is it's foiled. So you can see the stars are foiled. That is very cool. And, and I could put my photo here. <laughs> this is so nice. This is something that I could frame with the rest of these items that I, that I see but then you wouldn't see the back of the card either. But that is so cool though. Just trying to see what I could do. That is so cute. So who is LP? I'll have to think about that. The professor that signed off on this card for the restricted area. We also have a hall pass that is also foiled. And I'll take pictures at the very end. And that's what the back of it looks like, which it looks like it's seeping through. That is so cool from the front. So it has hall pass issue to date granted the professor, the reason for the hall pass. Uh, detailed explanation, additional notes, and signature of the, prof of the professor as well. Super cool. And then this, oh my goodness, is like, it has the crest on the back of it. And then you open it up. It's like a, oh, it's a schedule of classes. So it has 
your schedule, you can put your name on there and then it has all the different classes that are scheduled for that week. But it always goes, yeah. But that is so cool. So Monday charms, divination, and then it has free, but it's a study group with a pretty cursive. And I'll, leave, I'll let you guys read the, the notes if you can. If you can't, I'll just take a picture of it. That way you guys can read this and maybe you can pick up on any clues. This is so cool. That is so cool. And it all came in this little card. The next thing that I see, oh my goodness. It is a pin. Okay, it's a pin in a, of Dumbledore, but this, if you guys don't follow uh, the Potter Collector, then you probably wouldn't know what he looks like. But it's him. It's Peter Kenneth uh, dressed up as Dumbledore. And the pin is so nice. It has a double backing so then it doesn't spin on you if you wanted to like put it on clothing or something. I have an actual pin board that I'm going to put this on that that would be perfect. But it's very, it's like, it's heavy. It's a good weight. It's very nice quality. That is awesome. That is so cool. <laughs> All right, so, oh my goodness. And there's another pin in here. And, okay, it says chivalry. And it has the crest. And it's red. This must be for Gryffindor. One of the items for Gryffindor. The cards, the hall pass. I'm, I'm just wondering who that would be. Oh my goodness, there's so much things in here. Oh my gosh. The next thing I see is gloves. Wow. So this looks like 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 dragon skin almost. That is so cool. Gloves, maybe for like planting or something. Maybe this has to do with Hufflepuff because because of like hard working, you know, using your hands kind of thing. Um, this is like super good quality. Oh my goodness. And it's soft on the inside. And this, and it like, it like feels and looks like, you know, like a leather. It, it's cool. That is super cool. Yeah, it says dragon hide. Dragon hide gloves. Yeah. That is super neat. Now, I'm probably not going to undo, I'm probably not going to clip them from the thing. I might, I may just like frame them or hang them or something. I don't know if I'd ever use these because they're just so nice. I don't want them to get all scuffed up and stuff but that is so cool this is like a really good this is really this is like really nice <laughs> that is so awesome the next thing is a sword let me undo it and i'll show you guys sword sword knights that this crest had a, you know, a knight, knight's head on top of it, made it for Gryffindor, maybe like, you know, with the sword and then the red ruby stone in it. Maybe this is for like, uh, for Gryffindor, like being brave, you know, because you can use a sword to fight. This is so, so cool. And this looks like it comes off. Let me see if I can take this off. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's on there pretty snug. 
That is so cool. So it is a pin and it's like heavy too. Like it's an actual metal. It's not plastic or anything, you guys. This is really nice pin. Oh my goodness. Let me see if it writes in my green notepad. See, I have all this green and I'm not a Slytherin. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me see. Holy moly, this thing, you don't even have to like... You know, sometimes with new pins, you got to keep on, you know, keeping on to get it to come out, you know, but this pen, you don't even have to do that. You can just start writing and it's so smooth. That is so nice. Very, very nice pen. And then, and then the lid just comes on. So all you have to do is just pull it off and it comes off. You don't twist it off or anything. And then you just push it back in. So nice. So cool. All right. Okay. What in the world is in here? Let me see. It's a potion. And it's blue. I wonder if this is for Ravenclaw. gosh it is it has the eagle in the front of it so it says wit strengthen potion and it has ginger root uh is it armadillo bile <laughs> and then i can't read something bitters i think or something proven clarity to thoughts wow and it has Oh my goodness. And it has the eagle, like a little charm. And look at this. Look at the potion. And it's like glittery. It looks like glitter inside. I wonder if I, I don't know if I have a, look at that. You can see it all like swirling in there. That is so cool. And then I'll show you guys the front. That is so cool to display on my shelves. And I love how it's sealed in like gold. That is so neat. That is so cool, you guys. There's still more in here. I can't believe it. The next is in a green sash. So I wonder if this has to do with Slytherin because it's green. <laughs> oh my goodness. Award for special services to Hogwarts. Oh my gosh, it's a plaque. And it's wooden too, and it has metal. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let me open this up. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at this plaque, you guys. Award for special Hogwarts services to the school. And it has the H in it and it's metal to you guys. This is so nice. That is so nice and special. That is so cool. I love that. Oh my goodness. The next Slytherin item, it's definitely Slytherin. Look at this green and it has, look at this box. It has snakes on it. With the symbols, it kind of like, um, it kind of reminds, like, hold on. I have a thought in my head. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Well, it's the book that I'm just now reading. <laughs> and the movie, should I say? I'm going to open this up and see what it is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Cannoli. It is the chamber secrets door. Look how cool. And it's a piggy bank. And you know, you could take your coins out from here. This is so cool. Look at all the detail. And the stone, it's like 
cinder block almost like stone around look at that and the snakes and then the kind of like a bronze door that is so so freaking cool that is so cool you guys that is that is great and I will probably use that. I'll probably put my extra coins in there. <laughs> I will use it for what it is. But look at this box. This box is so cool on its own as well. I could like, like prop it on the box or something as a display or something. I don't know. That is so cool. Very cool. Oh my gosh, look you guys. This looks like a Quidditch chest. Oh my gosh. If there's gonna be like the whole game set or, or something in here, oh my goodness. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. <gasps> you have the bludgers in here. Oh my goodness. The ball, yes. Let me open them up. They're both in these little baggies. That's exactly what this is, you guys. Wow. They're cold. <laughs> and they're weighted a little bit. Look at this. Look at these. That is so, so cool. This is so nice, you guys. So nice. And then you can store them in your little box. Very, very cool. I love this. All right. There's still more in here. So it looks like we have like shirts. They're, I mean, they're uniforms. Sorry, you can probably see all the dust flying from the, from those little crinkly paper things. Oh, so these are like little postcards of, of each house's uniform. So you got Slytherin and you can write on the back of it and fold it up. You also have Hufflepuff. And then you have Gryffindor. And then Ravenclaw. Super, super cool. And then here is the sheet that tells you what's inside and which one's for what house. So for the keep collecting, for the lion, for Gryffindor, it's going to be the sword pin. If I can move this over. So it's going to be the sword pin. Lions are brave. That bravery was evidence on many occasions when the sword presents itself to the house lions. Use the sword pin with bravery. So the trait is bravery. The next one is the, me the Medal of Chivalry pin, which is also Gryffindor. The Lion House founder was marked by integrity and readiness to help others. May we be swift like the brooms on which we ride to help and cheer on those who need support and assistance. For your outstanding acts of service, we bestow upon you this Medal of Chivalry. The next one is the Badger. So the first thing is the dragon hide gloves. Badgers are known for their diligence and work ethic. Hard workers need a quality dragon hide glove to protect them from the dangers of poisonous plants and magical beasts. These dragon hide gloves are ready for your next assignment. So, so cool. And then the boating balls. Badgers display patience. Boating balls are used for relaxation and focus. These were designed to resemble the mischievous iron sports ball, balls of the wizarding sport. 
But if you display patience while learning to control the boating balls, it will improve your focus to remain on your broomstick when flying iron saphirs come your way. <laughs> so patience. Very nice. And that's the front of it. And then for Ravenclaw, so the eagle. And it's going to be the school documents, which is the schedule, the hall pass, and the library pass, and then the restricted area on the back. Very cool. And it says, wisdom is the application of knowledge. Hungry for wisdom? Eagles are eagle. <laughs> Eagles are eagle. Eagles are eager to wholeheartedly engage in classes. Your class schedule, library card, and hall pass should set you on the course to wizarding wisdom. And then the wit strength potion, which was super cool. Eagles possess mental sharpness and intelligence. Wit strengthening potion enhanced the eagle's natural ability to achieve the unthinkable. Wit is that trait, wisdom and wit. And then for the serpent or Slytherin, the first thing is the service award for ambition. So serpents are ambitious and remain focused on achieving their goals. Some achievements are worthy of receiving rewards. Display your school service award with honor. And then the next thing is coin bank. And the coin bank is for resourcefulness. And it says serpents are resourceful in difficult situations. The secret chamber is a clever place to save things for future purposes. The coin bank will help you plan for the future of or provide a secret chamber for your valuables. And then the houses, so all together, are uh, the greeting cards. So each house each house's stationery is represented in this collection. Who will you influence with your written words? And then the headmaster pen. The headmaster's pen office is lined with portraits of previous headmasters. As a bonus item, enjoy this portrait pen of our favorite headmaster, or is it? Keep collecting. <laughs> and that's the back of it. And it says on the top here, it says every item in this box represents a house and a specific character trait for which that house is known. As you experience these items, may you remember the importance of the character traits that empowered good friends to accomplish great things. That, what, what, what a wonderful box, you guys. This is, this is a great box. Um, if you are interested, uh, I believe the Keep Collecting box is sold out, but go ahead and check out, if you like these items and the quality of these items, go ahead and check out the Wizarding Trunk. They really do an awesome job with just the creation and making these items. They're very high quality and just so much detail in each item. It's very much appreciated and really awesome to, to be able to display these items and just, it's, and some of it is useful. You could use these items <laughs> if you wanted, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye you guys.